functions of the Holy Spirit is to lead you into all truth. Look, if somebody who's saved takes the clear word of God and shows you verse after verse after verse that God exists in three members or three persons or three separate beings, if you can't get that, if you can't see that, it's because you are not saved. That's just such a clear, basic, bottom shelf Bible doctrine. Now, I'm not saying a person has to understand the deep, heavy, weightier matters of the Trinity. Many of those will never understand. But the basic truth that God exists in three persons, three beings, the Trinity is made up of three members. If you can't get that, if you can't understand that, you're not saved. Because there's scripture after scripture. That's just two plus two basic fundamentals of Christianity. Look, if you can't understand that baptism will not save you, and you still think you have to be baptized in order to be saved, and somebody has taken the time to show you the clear scriptures that say, hey, salvation is by grace through faith, not of works, as any man should boast. If you can't understand that, you're not saved. Amen. I'm not saying you have to understand the pre-tribulation uh, or uh, when the timing of the rapture is. I'm not saying you have to understand uh, the ins and outs of, uh, of Zionism and Israel and spiritual Israel versus physical Israel. Hey, many people have been brainwashed on those kind of things. I'm talking about the two plus two bottom shelf basic fundamentals of Christianity, eternal security, the Trinity, the virgin birth, salvation by grace through faith. These things, if you can't get those things, you're not saved. Because one of, the thing, one of the things the Holy Spirit does, one of the functions of the Holy Spirit is to teach us the basic truths of the Bible. 